happy Sunday morning. I really need to post these earlier, so I apologize. Um, I have really good thoughts, and then all of a sudden it's Friday. And then, then there goes that. So <laughs> I need to get ahead of this this week, so that's my goal. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick update on how you guys did last week in case you want to tweak um, where you're at. Again, if you have questions, um, make sure to ask, because I am more than willing to help you with that. Um, also, I just want to point out for this week, it's finishing up Chapter 10 on quality and uh, there's a discussion board. And then uh, next week there's also a discussion board and you are going to be finishing up round three with a midterm on the 15th, which is that Friday. So you have a little bit of time to do that midterm. Um, that midterm, you do not have to come into um, school to do. You can do it right on Blackboard. It is randomized though, so um, you can't exactly follow along in the book real well, so you're going to be jumping back and forth. So um, if you sit down with somebody else, you're going to have different questions because there's a whole big pool of questions in there. So just know that going into it. Um, this chapter 2, chapter 11, um, aggregate planning and master scheduling, I did... Um, did create a video. I don't know if I created it for MRP or Master Aggregate Planning. I think it was Aggregate Planning. So check because I think there's a video out there for next week. If not, I will put one out there. Um, so know that. I'm going to go over our results and see how we did this round. I hope you guys are having a good week and staying really warm because <laughs> it's cold. Um, hopefully next week is um, spring forward as well on Sunday. So next week we lose an hour and it will stay brighter, um, be brighter earlier in the morning. Is that how it works? Yeah, still get dark a little earlier, but um, but the days are getting longer, so that's all that I care about. All right, spring break is two weeks away. Here we go. Sales for the week um, for round one. This is our first official round. Um, everybody is very close together. Holly here in um, Universe One kind of uh, jumped up a little bit ahead of everyone in sales revenue, but otherwise everybody's pretty close. Um, if you look at costs and expenses, you can see where everybody's at. Um, John had quite a bit here, um, as well as Trevin, um, for expenses. So you'll see that that cut into your profits a little bit, even Caitlin as well. So you'll see where that um, does impact your profit for the round a bit. I'm going to stick with Universe One, just so we can see what's going on with people and I can remember. Um, let's see, Holly was up ahead with sales and does definitely have a little bit more um, overall market share as well. Um, and Orange Crush is at 17% market share. Um, take a look and see what we can do for Caitlin and Jordan here um, with their market share and if there's anything that we can adjust from this first round because that's probably what's impacting um, Caitlin for sure your sales and I'm assuming Jordan's sales as well. So let's just take a look. So definitely, Caitlin, this looks like maybe it was a mistake. Um, fix your prices for um, the U.S. technology um, one and also, Jordan, probably bring that down a little bit too. Sean, um, you guys probably want to be somewhere between the th around 300 is probably where I'd be at least. Um, so knowing where everybody's at, um, even this is probably okay. Um, but this is too high in this area. You guys are up too high. So bring that down. Also, Sean, B, bring down your tech too. A little bit so you're a little bit more comparable traveling a little high um, in Asia with your tech too remember look at your kind of your percentages of where you're at based on your cost and I'll kind of take a look at that Sean be a little bit high here too all right and then um, I'm gonna look, look at social responsibility um, certainly you can pick and choose who you're you're sourcing from um, and some of you have done that and others of you have kept them all um, that's why it's just a little bit lower um, some customers care a little bit more about social responsibility and so if you're not spending a great deal on it it might be worth the extra cost for your product um, capacity utilization 
Sean, I think it's just your prices were a little bit high, so you didn't hit your capacity targets. Those of you at 100%, just check how much inventory you have, because um, that would be the other caveat. Holly doing really good with inventory um, and managing that with all of the sales that you had. So that's kind of a, a tricky thing to do. Um, Jordan and Caitlin, a little bit too much inventory. Caitlin, I think once you get your, and Jordan too, once you get your sales up, then that will help with that for sure. Um, so you can kind of tell that. Um, and then I don't know if we have anything on the cost report. Nothing too major here, except for Caitlin. Caitlin, I think, you're shipping from Asia to the U.S. That's why you have products sold in the U.S. cost. You don't want to do that. So let's just take a look. Um, we'll do universe one first. So I'm going to go into decisions and just take a quick peek at a couple of things here. Um, and you guys can, I think this can apply to everybody. So um, first of all, looking at demand, and I'm just going to Look at demand here just for a quick peek and I didn't look at the market conditions so I can't really tell if this is good or not um, so let's see we've got US is 7 to 10 Asia is 17 to 20 and Europe is 5% so um, that's Europe you want to bring down to about 5% here Caitlin so that should be about 5% when you're growing your um, market share here you want to grow in increments so the, these are really big jumps um, I would keep these probably to 8 to 10 percent this one could be maybe 12 percent this one maybe could be 12 percent but these I keep lower at 8 percent um, you're overestimating your demand right here um, which is going to impact your production so as an example I would probably move this to 5 percent I would do this at maybe 6% because you had 2% last round. Um, this side maybe make 12%. This another 6% because that's a lot to grow. Um, this you can do 12%, 6%. Let's get some of these sales up. But these will be a little bit more realistic um, in your production numbers than as you're estimating that. So um, estimating you've got two different product lines so you want to make both product lines, right? Um, it looks like you have demand for this, yeah. So you want to make sure that these two total 100%. So what I would do is I would, this is why you ship from Asia, I think. Red is ending inventory, so I'm trying to use up a little bit of your ending inventory here as well. Um, So now your 2% unsatisfied demand, or your tech 2 unsatisfied demand, um, Caitlin, is a little bit less. So hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, this needs to total 100% and this needs to total 100%. And you want to balance it between each. You don't necessarily need to use this if you um, don't have any issue with your demand. Okay? So if you have good demand, um, you don't need to, and you have good supply, you don't need to use that. But I do see that we're about 850 short. Um, and so what I would do, how many are we making here? Estimated demand is 3,000 and producing 1,800. Okay, I am going to do 800 here. So I'm going to go ahead and outsource 800 in Asia because um, I think that you'll have your demand in Asia will be a little bit more. Um, they tend to buy more of that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to do 50 here. And then you're, you're even Steven here. So that's kind of how I'm playing around with that. Um, so you're using a little contract manufacturing here. Um, I am going to just take a look at, this should help our inventory. And we do some of that inventory. Your investments are how many plants you're going to build for the next round. Um, I think now is probably a good time to start building. Um, and they, 
I'm going to do four. Because it does not look like you have any in the works. So I would do four. Um, in Asia, I would leave U.S. the way it is. I wouldn't change U.S. right now. Um, in your procurement, you can certainly change this um, based on, you know, do you want to use unethical suppliers? I'm thinking no, so I'm just going to undo that. It's it's two dollars more a unit, um, so your unit costs go up a little bit, but I don't think you want to use unethical suppliers. So, so that's what I would do. Um, research and design. Um, it looks like you contributed some to research and design here. Um, and so you should have some of this for this round. I'm just going to go make sure that we put that in there. Yeah, okay. So it looks like you did some. And so we have, I think what I would do is maybe, we have a little bit more to go here. So we'll bring that one up, um, and I continue to grow this each round. Um, so these then I would update. So these would be five and two. Um, and then this is where I said you have to really look at your unit cost is $103. Um, this is probably, I think 280 would be great. Here, it's, this one is fine, I feel like. Um, based on where we're at right now. Here, I'm going to adjust this first. Um, and then, oh, I didn't look at promotion. I would promote it the same. I mean, if you're going to use 15, I'd just use 15. Okay. Um, I don't know why you promote one less than the other. It's new, so I would promote it. I'd make these all 15. These are American dollars, by the way, as you're going through this. And, um, yeah, I think based on where everybody was at, that's probably about right. I can't remember where people are at with this one. That seems a little high. Um, but I'll take a look at one other thing just in case. So I'm going to update that, make this 15. So this isn't, the promotion is in US dollars. So I'm going to make that, um, this is 80 for unit costs. Make that 225 and 157. Um, that feels pretty good to me. Um, and then I'm just going to look at my logistics because I want to make sure that my logistics is shipping right. So that's correct. Make sure my taxes are as one, so that's correct. Um, and then I'm just going to, you've got cash in here, so you have plenty of cash on hand. Um, I would just probably leave that as it is. And then you would be good to go with those changes. So now I'm going to go ahead and look at Jordan. Jordan had issues as well. Um, and recommend some changes here. And Jordan made some changes. So yeah, um, no technology too yet for Jordan, so that's okay. Um, and I think growing this, I might grow this a little bit more, Jordan. I might do 10 or 12 um, to grow that. Um, the Otherwise, it, it looks good with your, I mean, you got to take as much as you can get. These um, market conditions, again, are too high. So here it tells you what your demand is going to be. 7 to 10% in U.S., 17 to 20 and um, 5%. So that's where I would make changes here so that um, this looked a little bit more like the predictions on the previous page. Because um, otherwise your production demands are going to be too high. So you have a lot of in-house inventory right now. Um, and I see that you're not making as much, which is great. But you certainly don't need outsourcing here. So I would not put any outsourcing here. Not at all. Um, you don't need it, um, and you want to use some of these ending inventories. So I would probably, I guess I would do that like that, because um, your inventory is going to cost you money. Probably not going to grow quite that much. You've got some plants under construction, which is good. I wouldn't make any more U.S. plants. Um, I would just focus on Asia and make sure that you have enough in Asia. 
procurement. Again, probably wouldn't use unethical suppliers. I help you. Just my thoughts. Um, research and design. You're researching and designing all of them. I would not do that. Pick, pick where you want to grow and focus on that. And you have to put in the numbers that are here. This isn't enough to grow anything. You've got nothing building for next year. You have to put in, so I'm just going to reset this so you can see. So you, you put in money in all of these, but you didn't get anything for it because you didn't put enough in. So if you want to do, let's say, Tech 1 and Tech um, 4, as an example, um, you can only build two products in each location. So you could build four of them, but then you really need to know where you're going to ship, ship them. So you really need to have some sort of a process. So now you can see I put 16, which was the number in here, and now this grew. Um, same here, if I wanted Tech 4, I'd have to invest. And then you can see now I'll get Tech 4. You have to have this total number in in order to get it. I think this is wasted money. So pick two of these and go. Um, if you're going to pick four, you're going to have to be really good at managing where you produce and where you're shipping. And then definitely look at your demand page and look at where these products are gonna be in their highest demand. So you're building Tech 4, I would ship that to Europe, um, for sure, okay? You're building Tech 3, I would ship that to Asia, for sure, okay? Tech 2, for sure, to the US. So um, that's kinda of how I guess I would pick that. Um, so you probably have to make Tech 1 and Tech 2 in the US, and um, or Tech 2 and Tech 3, in, or Tech 4 in the US, and then Tech 1 and Tech 3 in Asia, and then ship what you want to Europe, I guess. Um, and then you, then you can change it in here next round. Um, but be careful with this research and design. If you do all of them, um, it'll tax your production quite a bit, um, and it's hard to predict the more product lines you use. Okay? So here, again, I would make sure to advertise and your cost is $82. You do not want to sell it for $650. You do not want to sell it for $650. So I think everybody's at, like around here, if I'm not mistaken, $882. You're getting a little closer. Um, but it just, nobody's going to pay that if everybody's selling it for cheaper. You want a nice margin, but um, you're not going to sell the products you have if your price too high. So, so you have to be careful with that. All right. That's not Asia, Europe. So this should say Asia, Asia to Asia, Europe, US. Tax should be one all the way down, which is good. Finance, yeah, I got a lot loans here. So you got some short-term debt. You don't have any money. <laughs> so um, still have no money. Ugh. Still have no money. You do not want short-term debt. It's like really bad. You've got short-term debt in Asia. Um, so my Europe, I'm going to do my as well. So I'm moving your Europe money out of Europe um, into the U.S. It paid off your short-term debt. You still have short-term debt in Asia. Um, eek. You got to be careful here. Well, let me check your production. I don't think I can change really anything other than what you're investing in for product because you're not building anything extra. Let's try that. You're still going to be short, <laughs> which is why you were positive before probably, but you had overinflated um, overall forecasting numbers. So I think that caused you an issue and um, your prices, it wouldn't sell for that. So um, that's why you're negative here. You're going to be negative for one round. That's the way it's going to be. 
So for Jordan and for um, for Caitlin, I'm going to reset yours, but if you want to make some other decisions, um, I hope that helps. Okay.